Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss lecture 1 of COMSE 123, Data Structures, entitled Analysis of Algorithms. Okay, before we move on, can you recall what we have discussed last week? What is an algorithm? Okay, please take some time to remember. Alright, so Cat O has remembered and according to Cat O, an algorithm is a well-defined computational procedure that takes some value or set of values as input and produces some value or set of values as output. So in other words, we can then say that an algorithm is a sequence of computational steps that transforms a certain input into a certain uh, output. Okay, good job, Kato. <laughs> All right, so how do we actually analyze an algorithm and why do we have to analyze an algorithm? Okay, so, for example, you are given a problem, right? You are all working in the same company and the CEO, CEO has asked you to write a certain um, algorithm for a problem. Now, all of you have um, designed a different solution. So how can the CEO decide which one of you has written the best na algorithm? So one way to do this is to do an analysis, right? And when we say analysis of algorithm, we are basically predicting the resources that the algorithm requires. So often, it is the computational time that we care for. So we also call the computational time as the uh, running time. Okay, and some more uh, resources that we can measure is the amount of memory that the algorithm has consumed. Okay, so ideally, what we want is a data structure and algorithm to have a fast running time and an efficient memory usage. Okay, now, um, we know that a running time of an algorithm typically goes with the input size. So you can see here a, an example. So suppose you have an algorithm and you try to run it with varying input sizes. So for example, you have an array, right? The size of an array is only uh, containing, let's say, five uh, elements. And you, as you can see, with just the five elements, the execution is so much faster. But you notice that as you increase the input size or as you increase the size of the array, let's say you can see you now have around 100 elements. You can also see that the running time is getting slower. Okay? So essentially, the running time of an algorithm typically grows with the input size. Right? Now, um, how do you actually um, measure the running time of an algorithm? Okay, of course, to, me to measure that, we have to identify some factors first that um, impact the running time. Okay, so can you guess some of it? So does the size of the input uh, affect the running time of an algorithm? The content or structure of input? Or does the type of computer we are using? So for example, I am using a MacBook and you are using... Um, you are using a Windows-based laptop. So what do you think? Would the algorithm run faster on my computer or your computer? The amount of memory the computer has. So for example, my uh, computer it has 32 uh, gig na memory and yours has only 8 gig, which the algorithm will run faster in what uh, memory then? and how the algorithm is implemented. So we can implement a certain algorithm with different design, okay? And also the programming language that we use. So for example, you used Python, I used C. What do you think? Uh, do you think the algorithm will run uh, the same if written in a different language? So essentially, all of this affect the running time of an algorithm. Okay, now, how do we actually compute for the running time given all these factors? Okay, so um, one way to do it is to implement it and see, and see. 
So you can write a program implementing the algorithm. So you can use this um, approach, uh, write code, run in computer, and log their execution time. So run the, in the program with inputs of varying sizes and composition. So this is the same plot that I have shown earlier. So assuming that you have um, already implemented the algorithm and run, run it in your computer, and you can see it that as you increase the input size, uh, you will be able to see the running time, okay? So you can use a method like, let's say in Java, system that current time in millis to get an accurate measurement of the actual running time. And then you can then plot the results and see, okay? Now, what if the algorithm is too complex that it would take time to be implemented? Or you have um, some prospect net designs or you have some prospect net algorithms. So would you implement all of them to determine which one is the most efficient? So how about a no? Okay, so it is necessary to implement the algorithm, which may be difficult. So also, the results may be indicative of the running time on other inputs not included in the experiment. So it does not take into consideration all of the possible inputs. So what if you have only entered the most possible uh, cases? So what about for... um? the most unlikely cases that you were not able to cover in your experiments, right? And also to compare the two algorithms, you must have the same hardware and software environments, okay? But this cannot be the case, okay? So we need some alternatives. And we need that uh, the evaluation of these algorithms to be fair. So we must use the same platform, hardware or software, and we must also use different input sizes.